Today we're exploring one of the most popular fads to hatch, you heard me, since the pandemic, raising backyard chickens. And some people don't know where to begin, but we've got you covered. So it is time for Chicken Cooping 101. And joining us today is backyard chicken keeping expert, Kathy Shea Mormino, AKA the chicken chick. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Drew. How are you? What you got there? I have your beautiful little baby here. So I think you have Ebony and her partner Ivory is in there. Now, Kathy, raising chickens are all the rage, but were you surprised to see this trend or were you like, I've been here all along? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I think backyard chickens, I've been saying for years, are the new family dog. So um, people looking to get back to our roots, our, our, you know, finding sustainability by way of growing our own food, chickens for eggs, gardens, et cetera. Um, it, it all makes sense that people want to know where their food is coming from, and chickens are a pretty, pretty easy pet to raise. Um, <laughs> and... Um, you know, in the same way people started making sourdough bread and banana bread during the... <laughs> You've got that Beyonce thing going, like, naturally. Anyway, I, I need to stop looking like this and be like, yes. <laughs> um, on the wings of an eagle. I now eat all the eggs. I'm extremely passionate about the chickens because we raised them since they were baby, baby chicks. We gave them all names, and I've been through uh, several seasons with them now, um, like full circle. They're over a year old. Okay. And that's them. That Blanche. Of course it um, is. <laughs> right? Doesn't she look like a Blanche? Totally And does. then I've got Ramona, Percy, Pepper. Uh, that's Ferdinand. And we got all different. That's Pepper. Now, I love this coop design, and I built a coop myself um, and I just basically took a garden shed and cut a hole in the door like in the wall and created a door for them and just transport transformed it this is the chicest little coop I've ever seen what is this all about well this is like giving me Martha Stewart for chicken coop so so go with that vibe but then build in safety and security and mm -hmm. a couple things that are really important to remember about um, chickens is that where they sleep at night inside the coop should be the safest place they ever are. They're, they have very few defense mechanisms and if something gets in there, they're done. They have poor night vision so they can't see a thing. And so their chicken coop needs to be predator proof. And we talk about predator proofing with welded wire. That's hardware cloth or yeah. welded wire. I put a roof on mine because the hawks can come down and pluck them right out and I said, no, no. Um, and I eventually, when it was safe and I could have someone come to the house, I built some boxes inside with little wooden ladders and it now looks like a professional chicken coop. So now when you have a day off, I want you to go in with your reciprocating saw again and put windows on all four sides of your coop. Really? And a really, really important take home message is the reason why. Because these birds have core body temperatures ranging in the 104 to 107 degree Fahrenheit range. And they're wearing down jackets all day, every day. Now, Kathy, as we're gonna go into commercial, I would love for you to, and I to make like a one minute pitch for why having chickens are so great. You go first, Kathy. Give a one minute pitch on why having chickens is a really wonderful thing. So chickens are a wonderful thing because they're the only pet that produces food. And everything else that they produced is also useful. So their manure, once you compost it, is amazing nitrogen rich garden material for your flower beds for your vegetable gardens. And they are just overall great pets. They, they're the new family dog. Kathy, I'm so glad I asked you and I second everything you say. And I will also say that for me and my daughters to raise these little baby chicks, we all felt like parents together. Whereas usually I'm their mom and they're the kids. And instead we all became little mother hens. 
and I've just come to love them so much. I love their eggs. I love taking care of them. And it's simpler than I would have thought. It seemed like a really daunting thing. And it's actually brought me in a tremendous amount of pleasure in life. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. And I hear that all the time. And that's how it should be. Well, I also think if you need a wind machine at your next photo shoot, like, <laughs> come on, here we go. Ready? Ebony is on it. Ebony, give me. Let's have it. Let's Beyonce this. Ebony, there we go. <laughs> Um, I just want to thank you, Kathy, and the fact that your top is yellow, the signature color of our show, matching these beautiful yellow wreaths. You've brought so much joy to our show, and I really do encourage people to have chickens. My pleasure, and everybody starts somewhere. None of this is intuitive. These birds don't come with a manual when you pick them up at the feed store, when they show up in the, in, in, at the mail room, and, um, but you can read my book, so there's that. I was so there is, say, a, there is a manual now, but there wasn't when I started. What is the name of your book, Kathy? We want to put it on our website. Absolutely, it's The Chicken Chicks Guide to Backyard Chickens, Simple Steps for Healthy, Happy Hens. Go to thedrewberrymoreshow.com to get Kathy's book. Um, I cannot wait, I'm gonna read it cover to cover. Thank you, Kathy, so much. My pleasure, thanks for having and me. And thank you, Ebony.